Now everyone, it is my honor to announce the senior speakers here tonight. We have Jasmine Richards, <laughs> Hannah Stone, <laughs> Caitlin Belt, <laughs> Kayla Chance, <laughs> Richard Powell III, and Derek Hatch. We have been constantly reminded throughout our last four years at Great Oak to be the best we can be. Most of us found it obtainable, yet extremely challenging due to waking up every morning when it's still dark outside and having to leave our beds only to sit in hard, uncomfortable chairs for seven hours. Sounds rough, right? Well, not so much seeing as how we've been blessed for the last four years with teachers that not only taught us curriculum, but also taught us about life and carefully guided us along while we learned about ourselves. We have been privileged to attend a school that not only educates, but also encourages students to follow their passions beyond the blue gates we have been accustomed to. We cannot be sure what to expect in the next stages of life, but I have no doubt that Great Oak has prepared this graduating class for anything that comes our way. I have learned that our background and circumstances have influenced who we are, but we are responsible for who we become. In fact, today represents a blank canvas. It is said each day is a new canvas to paint upon. Make sure your picture is full of happiness, and at the end of the day, you, wish you, you don't wish you had painted something different. Class of 2010, today is a celebration, but tomorrow is a new beginning. A beginning where you will be challenged by your own goals, you will form ideas and beliefs worth fighting for, and you will find purpose by pursuing your passions. And now is the time to begin painting your pictures. Speaking of blank canvases, so, how about that walk-in? Guess that's why they call it graduation. When we first started here, we considered ourselves loners. In other words, we were each one man wolf packs. But four years later, we become one single wolf pack family. The class of 2010 is leaving behind unforgettable memories and countless leaders. We will never forget the overly cautious students that protected themselves from the swine flu, those who camped out just to be the first to pick their senior parking spot the next morning. Or the infamous hanging of the bear from the flagpole during rival week against Temecula Valley. <laughs> Nor will we forget our legends in the making. The ones who competed in the McDonald's All-American Basketball Game. <laughs> the ones who've been nominated for the Rudy Award. The ones who led Great Oak to its first CIF wins and the ones who have raised the bar of intelligence higher than most high school students could reach. And then there are the teachers that have made a lasting impression on our high school years. Like Mr. Beach, who never sugarcoated his life experiences, and whose words followed us far beyond the classroom. And Miss Preet, who's treated her students like her kids, and has shown us the true qualities of a good person. On the other hand, who could forget our tough security guards? Who else could tackle streakers to the ground during football games or confiscate half of every girl's wardrobe? But on a more serious note, these three empty seats represent life's three gifts to cherish the present moment, treasure past memories, and seize future opportunities. Four years ago, we walked onto this campus as individual freshmen. We had ties to friends, Maybe a sibling, maybe a significant other, but little else that connected us all together. In the front office, on Mr. Ritter's wall, there's an imposing Rudyard Kipling quote that reads, for the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. At first, I dismissed this quote as a simple adage, a catchy saying that supplemented our spirited mascots parading around in wolf costumes. Over the years, we have all heard Mr. Skaggs' perky wolf pack rhetoric as something arouses the student body for a sporting event or an academic rally. The Wolfpack has trotted itself into all aspects of our school. From athletics to academics, the Wolfpack scent is palpable. As a member of the Wolfpack, no one is ever truly alone or without help. The pack did not strip us of our self-sufficiency, however. Instead, 
It worked to reinforce our weaknesses and strengthen our strengths. <laughs> Graduating from the wolf pack will not mean regressing back to the cliched lone wolves once again. Instead, we will carry the wolf pack with us always, so it may develop and expand, and so we may continue to do the same. What we have gained in the last four years is an immeasurable communal tie between friends, teachers, and faculty that will be impossible to replace. But as we go on to work or to college, I know that the kindred spirit we developed will continue as we all go on to do amazing things. And as we move on, let us be reminded that we live in a world where barriers are being broken down. The barriers that divide male and female, white and black, and these dividing walls of hostility are being broken down one day at a time. This is the world that we are entering into, and it is our job to continue breaking down such obstacles. Where expectations are high, we rise to meet them. So let us continue to raise the bar, to push ourselves, to be the very best that we have been created to be. Because there is a world out there that is just dying for us to make a difference right now. And listen, my friends, even if things get rough, and we feel like we cannot go on any longer in this tale called life. Let us take captive to heart every positive thought and virtue that we have established for ourselves here at Great Oak High School. Today, I see before me a generation rising up to take their place with selfless faith for today. Today, I see before me a generation rising up to take their place with persevering hopes for tomorrow. Today, my friends, I see before me a generation rising up to take their place with an undying love for one another that will last forever. Rejoice, my brothers. Rejoice, my sisters. For we have made it, and the future has only just begun. <laughs>